Blue Ash woman will spend the next six months in prison for lying about being raped. This type of case has only happened twice in Hamilton County in the last five years. Nine News reporter Annette Pegler is downtown at the Hamilton County Courthouse after speaking with the woman's family about why this happened. Annette? Carol, Melinda Denham sent a letter to the judge stating that she lied when she told police that her ex-boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, raped her in her father's Blue Ash home. And so he didn't rape you? No. Melinda Denham broke down in tears this morning after admitting that she lied when she swore before a grand jury about being raped last August. I know I made a mistake and I mean, I know I can't take it back. I just, I don't want to get in trouble no more. Her boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, was charged with burglary and two counts of rape and spent two months in jail before being released. You knew from the very start that he'd done nothing. And this man spent 60 days, as I understand, in jail or thereabouts because you lied. Family members of Denham said she lied out of fear. He threatened her and promised and promised and promised all this kinds of stuff that his lawyer was going to do for her and he was going to do for her and threatening her and, and through letters and phone calls. Kendall Fisher works for Women Helping Women downtown. She says they help about 1,300 sexual assault survivors in Hamilton County each year. We're always concerned when there's a great deal of media attention given to the issue of false reporting um, because what that does is it really amplifies a, a, what's really a universal barrier for sexual assault survivors and, and coming forward and getting support and it's that fear that they're not going to be believed. Denim is now six months pregnant and her mother says Hudson is not the father. Her family says she shouldn't have received the jail time. She's never been in any trouble. She was a good kid. Now, Denim will have to serve probation when she is released. On a related note, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and Women Helping Women has a 24-hour crisis hotline for anyone who is facing the results of a sexual assault. For that number, you can go to WCPO.com. Tanya, uh, Carol? Annette Pegler, Annette Pegler reporting live downtown. Thanks, Annette.